did you physically cheat on me or not? And just be 100,000% honest. I know that's something I need to tell Ella, but pff, I don't even know how to say it right now. The first time I met Tiddy was at an event of his. I saw her across the room and I had to go over and say hi to her immediately. We just got along really well. When it was just us two, he was very down to earth, very goofy, and we just used to have the best time. But because of his whole rapper lifestyle, I was very wary. I'm on the tour. We're staying at hotels every night, and girls are literally throwing themselves at guys and it could be definitely very tempting. He put his phone on airplane mode when we're together. It all just seemed a little bit sus. When she went on my phone is when all the trust went. He did the whole, oh, it's just DMs, it doesn't mean anything. I didn't see anything that had proven that he'd physically cheated, but I did end up ending the relationship. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are we today? I'm good. How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, you it's been a while. Too. Oh, he actually does look really good. <laughs> was my phone too much to handle? Um, if you dealt with it properly, I would not have had a problem with the fame at all. You just weren't being transparent about things. So it was making me think, OK, is he going and doing stuff? I feel like I just wanted to keep the fact that I had a relationship somewhat secret. I need something of my life that's private. I've got my whole life out for people to see. Why can't I have something for myself? Thank you. You've got questions under here. What happened on tour? Are we talking about a specific tour? We're talking about when you went on tour, what were you getting up to? What was I getting up to? I would get on a tour bus, go to the venue, go to the hotel probably, chill, then go to the show, perform. He did not need to give me the itinerary for his tour. I just need to know, did you cheat? Did you physically cheat on me or not? And just be 100,000% honest. I know that's something I need to tell Ella, but pff, I don't even know how to say it right now. I kissed someone, but that's it. It's actually a bit of a shock to the system to hear that. It's the first time he's actually admitted physically cheating on me. So you're telling me on one occasion you kissed someone, that's the only time you've ever physically cheated on me? No, I'm not too sure. He's not giving me the 100% truth and I just need him to tell me everything so I'm gonna keep pushing. Did you cheat physically on me with more than one girl? Just be honest. More than likely, I probably did kiss more than one person, yeah. Did you have sex with anyone no, whilst we in a relationship? No, no. I don't believe you. I didn't have sex with someone else, do you know what I'm saying? You have a reason not to believe me, and I understand that. But for most of the time, I was just being loyal to you. Yeah. It's actually going better than I thought because I'm starting to hear stuff that I needed to hear from my own peace of mind. Why did you let jealousy ruin us? Jealousy? Mm. If you were acting the way you were supposed to be acting in a relationship, we could even still be together. It made me so insecure, and that's why I went on your phone. I just seen a whole host of DMs, messaging girls saying, you know, you're so beautiful, I just thought I'd let you know. For someone that I cared for so much, mm. I couldn't believe you were doing that behind my back. Yeah. Um... <laughs> When I was seeing these DMs, it changed me as a person completely. Like, after seeing your phone, I was even looking at the girl's profile saying, like, what's the difference between me and them? I can't believe it. I feel so bad. I haven't really been thinking about how emotional this is for her. I don't like seeing her sad. My confidence was on the floor. Every day I was just trying to be more than what I was. I just thought, you actually didn't think I was enough. You was more than enough. I don't want you to think it's that, because mm. it's really not. You shouldn't even be upset. Like, I should be upset, do you get it? Because I'm the one who messed up. Mm. Like, you were nothing but a good girlfriend. You did nothing wrong. I didn't value what I had at the time enough, and I'm sorry. It's nice to hear him finally admit that he actually wasn't treating me how I was supposed to be treated. All I can put it down to is immaturity and not being ready for a relationship. Yeah. You're lit. Oh, that 
<laughs> You're too lit to be crying. <laughs> too lit. I'm trying to stop. <laughs> I feel like right now we're in a good place. He's saying his honest truth, which is good for once. Do you still love me? It'd be hard for me to say that I'm still in love with you. No, of course. I understand that. I don't think you should love anyone that hurts you like that. Like, it's not right. I feel you, it's not right. Yeah. What about you then? I'm gonna have to bounce that question back. <laughs> I don't feel like. I have a reason to stop loving you. Do you know what I'm saying? I've kind of seen that relationship life is better than single life. And I'm just ready to be with one person. I'm surprised. Like, he seems to be telling me what I want to hear, and I want to hear more. You were one million out of a million sick. I think about you a lot, like... Should we give it another go? I think she might want to give it a go, maybe from our convo. She wants to see if I've actually changed a bit. A day another hurt. I, I don't know. I feel like it's been a long time. I don't know if we'd even feel any different or if we just still know that we should just be friends. I guess we'll never find out if we don't do a date. If we don't do a <laughs> <laughs> uh, We could do a date. Care about him so much, but I'm not sure if we could get back into a relationship. If you properly put the effort in, then maybe there could be a future one day. See you later. See you later.